Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Ease 7. Last time we were on the quote unquote second half of the journey with the hidden village of Iska. So, last time, remember, by the time I put this up, I'll probably be. On the other half of this, which, well, we'll, we'll get into that when we come, but what we are dealing with right now is, good lord. Let's go! Alright! I accidentally hit the bumper button by accident. Shano, Sigram, and Kyrus each possess a hidden sanctum, and all must be visited. Our first priority is to speak with the dragons. Ah, uh, what about the other two sanctums? There was a dragon altar on Ruins Island, is that one of those sanctum entrances too? Yes, I believe the Sea Sanctum is located on Ruins Island. However, at present, Rune's Island is not easy or safely accessible. I believe it would be best to postpone any attempts at visiting that sanctum for the time being. Yeah, I got thought. Then, what about Iska Sanctum? Would it be best to go there first since it's probably, like, behind a wall here or something? Unfortunately, the location of Iska's sanctum remains unknown. All knowledge of it perished with the Iskan Elder Line 200 years ago. Ah, oh. Crap! That's no good! I had heard rumors of this, but I did not know it was true. Indeed, among the responsibilities of the Elder of Iska was a task that only he was capable of carrying out. As the Elder of this, of, as the Elder of the tribe that reveres the Dragon of Harmony, he served as the mediator amongst all the tribes. Perhaps the Edonians were not pleased with Iska's privileged status and so decided to put an end to them. Man, it's horrible. All the people of Otogo City has have always been that incident. That is why I am merely the acting elder. We would have known the truth about the legends as well if the elder line had survived. All we can do now is look for clues in the ancient Iskan records. So much we have to do and so little time to do it in. So I think we're currently equipped with um, what we need to be equipped with. Uh, let's see. strong seal art and the power of the moon. The two moon rep represents balance and the objects of our ribbons. You are a friend, are you not? You intend us no harm? We just want to understand, ma'am. That's all. The 
this is the hidden village of Iska. The descendants of the Iskan tribe live here. Some are afraid of outsiders, so please don't do anything untoward. Now, since it has been some time since I've really, honestly, and truly touched this game, give me a moment and I shall be right back to where I should be, or where I'm going to. Two seconds. Alright, so... What we need to do is we need to get more information and only then will we actually be able to teleport because we need to do that first. We need to get all the information we can before we do anything else. Only the ringing of the Iskan bell will allow outsiders to pass through the barrier that conceals this village. In all its two centuries of existence, the barrier has never been broken. It's sad to have lost contact with the other tribes, but given the persecution we face, we had little other choice. to trust any other tribe after we were persecuted and driven into seclusion. But it is reassuring to have leaders of all the other villages here with us now. I sincerely hope that you will be able to have fruitful meetings with all the dragons. Shanoa, Sekram, and Kairos each possess a hidden sanctum, and all must be visited. Our first priority is to speak with the dragons. While you do that, I'll remain here and look through the Iskan records. I may be able to find something concrete about the Wind of Destruction's true nature. It's a rather tall pillar, with something similar to the seal of the moon engraved upon it. We, the people of Iska, have watched over the balance of Atoko, hidden from the rest of the world. But then there was an earthquake. This is sad news. An earthquake is proof that Atoko is falling into the chaos. Ah, uh, yes. Allow me to say one thing if you would. You have already acquired the powers of the dragons, and know the skills you must use to suppress the enemy. But in order to use the skills, you must first build up 
the powers of the dragons to the absolute limit. The powers of the dragons will increase more rapidly if you use your skills with the weapons containing them equipped. And I assume the higher level of skill you use, the more power it harnesses from its dragon. Remember that, and use it to your advantage. Extra skill guard builds up each time you use regular skills. Also keep in mind that the more SP the skill uses, the faster the extra guards will fill. So I think we got ourselves an instant upgrade, so that means the more we use the skills, the better our chances for leashing havoc upon the world. This hidden art, uh, this hidden vest, oh yeah. Now, for some reason, just made me want to go back to my my previous um look through my previous part, I should say, to see where I'm where I'm supposed to. Be. Ciaris has assumed the responsibility of the village elder. Elder Ciaris is really intelligent and a really great leader. On top of that, he's a master of sea arts. Bacon? He's got sea arts referred to a special type of magic in which physical charms are infused with various enchantments. Utilizing these arts, one can create an illusionary wall, a passage between dimensions, whatever you can imagine. So it's close to, say, shrine magic. Or in this case, like, Abe no Seme. Omioji magic. The appearance of the dragon warrior, the five dragons will awaken, uh, the five dragons shall awaken, and then what will happen to Otogo? My name is Matthew Torres, dragon researcher. I have so many questions yet unanswered but lack for material. I know, I would like to ask you a favor for me. I'd like you to bring me materials you find in the sanctums where the dragons dwell. If you show me such materials, I'll share with you all that I know about the five great dragons of Otoko. It is knowledge unknown to the outside world, but such knowledge exists to be used and shared. So we got some lecture missions. Um, I got some, so...
think there's a mention quite clearly in the records that I speak of the five dragons. However, the, there are no scriptures to tell us what kind of places they actually are. Oh, we did lose a large number of our records 200 years ago. A long time ago, the village of Iska was destroyed to make way for its older city's development. In the wake of that, our knowledge of where the moon altar is located was lost. They must have failed. They must have felt faith in the dragons, or it gets in the way of riches, and now we pay the price for their ignorance. But isn't that always the way, though? Mankind always seems to suffer because of that. Have you noticed the uniqueness and rarity of everything around? It's because here we exist as though frozen in time. Our peace was disrupted every now and then by outsiders like yourself, but in general everything is like it was. The last outsider summoned was the young, angry-looking fellow with the black hair, and that was two years ago. <laughs> Actually, I didn't come because Sierra summoned me. We were corresponding, and I decided to pay him a visit. He mentioned that he knew the lost Iskin Steelheart, so it seemed worth the trip. Exactly, he tripped you, he tripped you into coming, which is to say he summoned you here. And now here you are, slaving away to pay him back what he taught you. This is starting to become clear. Damn it, he's right, but he doesn't have to rob him. Run my nose and especially in front of an animal. I got a reputation. Sure, geese, you got a reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I got a reputation. D do what? Oh, hello. I heard about you from Sarah's, the dragon warrior and his companions, correct? The name's Brandy Swanson. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Welcome to East Coast San Francisco Workshop. San Francisco Workshop? What? You aren't where? San Francisco originated in ancient Isca. All the other tribes eventually learned the art of San Francisco, but none are as versed in it. Use as the Iskans. Well, San Francisco does require special knowledge and tools after all, not to mention training. But even here, the art of synthesis hasn't seen much use in the last 200 years. We don't get out much. So as a heads up, I'll be deciphering the old records while I work, but I'll do everything in my power to assist you. Oh, and on that note, have you heard of Iska Spirit Elixirs? If you'd like me to try concocting such a mixture, feel free to ask. I suspect they'd be of great use. Well, let's see. What can, what can we do as far as... With all this money that I'm carrying around, yes.
all this money that we've acquired over over for this. Um, yeah. For anything else, <laughs> like I said, for anything else, <clears throat> um, 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 Spirit elixirs, but then allow me to tell you all about them. Spirit elixirs are one of many types of medicine that can only be synthesized with special Iskan technology. According to the records, these elixirs can be specific attributes on whoever imbibes them. The catch is finding the ingredients we need to make these elixirs, which is rather tricky, which is where you come in. I'd like you to gather the necessary materials to create these elixirs so I can determine if if it's even possible. Of course, any elixirs I successfully synthesize will be successfully yours for the taking. The experience alone is all I seek. There should be an old record on the shelf there that tells you all necessary ingredients to make them. That aside, even though they are called spit elixirs, they actually come out as a fine powder, sort of like sugar or flour. If I do succeed, be careful not to spill or inhale them. The former would be a waste. The latter would really hurt. So that's so that's an extra bonus. If we find him. Thank you very much. Please come again. You mean this? It's an old scroll titled Spirit Elixir Synthesis. Five compound ingredients. Ten Lugat seeds. Ten Eco seeds. Ten Titanal fluid. Ten spiritual water. Strength compound. Ten Kamika seed. Ten Kamono seed. Ten monster fluid. Ten spiritual water. Defense per compound. Iokin, ten Iokin seeds. Ten Salamara seeds. Ten monster fluids. 10 spiritual water. Dexterity. 10 Chigo seeds, 10 Nadley seeds, 10 holy waters, 10 spiritual waters. Agility compound. 10 Ambula seeds, 10 Strigia seed, 10 holy water, 10 spiritual. 10, <clears throat> 10 spiritual water. So that's what it, we have to do. and suspicious. The people of Iska were practically annihilated during the Indonian's persecution two centuries ago. This hidden village was founded by the few who survived. But unfortunately, a great deal of Iska's knowledge was lost along with the lives of its people. It's really sad to see a culture wiped out like that. Yeah, I know such animal. It truly is.
Yeah, okay, let's leave it like so. I forgot it's right here. wrap my head around the fact that there's a village here, though. Unfortunately, no one remembers the spell to undo the bear around this village. I almost forgot. I have something for you, Adam. The Moonsong Bay. It's fancy eyes. You can use it to access any location that's hidden or sealed up through its kind of magic. Excellent! You rang this bell to get us all here yourself, right? Basically, yeah. According to CRS, there are other locations all throughout Otago that have been similarly hidden. If you come across any places marked with the Iskan seal, it wouldn't hurt to try giving the bell a read. So. They're like shortcuts. Sounds cool. Let's try it, Edel. But Edel can teleport us all with the dragon energy he received. We don't really need to get. We don't really need to get. Let me read it. We don't really need to get anywhere, do we? Strange energy has permeated the atmosphere for some time now. It seems all warp locations are no longer accessible due to this disturbance. What? what? No, I can't work. The earthquake must have created a disturbance in the flow of energy throughout Otogo, masking all the warp locations. So. It is not that the ability cannot be used, but that the power on which it draws has faltered. It's no more than a minor inconvenience, but all these anomalies and earthquakes do not bode well for this land. We must make haste. R right I guess we should have to warn our villagers for now. Meanwhile, Adol, Christian, and two others are currently on the run. Search parties have been sent to all the villages, but the fugitives remain at large. It is believed they are hiding somewhere in the Otago Plains. So, they got away. General, your men have allowed an intruder into the palace, and now this. Are you not being a bit careless? I make no excuses for this. I shall dispatch two companies for a thorough investigation. Don't bother. There's no point sending your men to just walk around the plains. Set up checkpoints on all the roads, and wait for him to fall into the trap himself. We just need to show the people that we're actually doing something to find our escapee. Anything more is wasted effort. I leave the matter into your hands, General. Your Royal Highness, please accept my apologies for causing you such worry with my curses. Perhaps her highness should rest and allow her humble servant to handle all further security matters. Right. Thanks, Jason. I'll, I'll do just that. Good. Then I shall return to my duties.
Princess, I agree with the general. You should rest. You bravely, you barely, bravely, you barely slept last night. You bravely slept last night. <laughs> He was afraid. He must have left to do something related to the dragons. Sigrun. I have a favor to ask of you. I do believe there's new music afoot. Yeah, th this is this is um this is definitely this is definitely um the, the second half of the game. Welcome. <laughs> if you if you not checked out the first half, one through one through nineteen is basically the first half of E seven. Now we're on, I believe, twenty. Never disappoint with the music. Neither does Adol disappoint with the attacks. Overworld theme to um, Ease. Ease 2. Or Final Step to Wars from 1. Or even Boy, Boy Waiting on Adventure from 3. Because every time I hear something like this, it just reminds me of. It really just reminds me of those that piece right there. say that we're getting a new batch of enemies here, so, uh... You really can't blame it for everything that has happened, so... Like I said, just like... A season two of this of this let's play.
Some are new, some are old, so, you know, you're getting a little extra something. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to see where we're going to go since we're back into the overworld. And we'll take it from there. Give me a hot second. Alright, so deciding where we're going to go. Let's just say I had to get that. Okay. <laughs> hmm? What is that? Dragon Knights. Can't believe they actually had the foresight to set up checkpoints on the roads. It won't be pretty if we get caught. We need to find another way around. Trying to go around. So I really don't feel like wanting to fight these guys when I don't really have to.
like I said, I'm enjoying the music more. While I'm just basically whiffing everything else. I mean, really, there's not much I can say except just whiffing through all these and... And all these... We already went one way, so I, I'm looking for a I'm looking for a place I can basically um, trigger something.
Oh, I see. We can't go that way because of that. Give me a moment. We need, we need someone who can shoot. I'm sorry, Geese, but, you know. We need someone who can actually shoot. Southwest, please say to Southwest. Oh, Lakeside. <laughs> now, of course, you can take on any of the sanctums in any order you wish because all I said was you know you go to the you go to the sanctums but they never said in which order Thank <laughs> you. 
So you know what? I'm actually going to stop here. And in the next part... We shall get on the right path and advance the story a little more. And level in the process. So stay tuned. More of Ease 7 right after this. Thanks so much for watching.